Hello and welcome into the Piles of Paragraphs Creative Space. I'm Lori and today I'm going to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, going to share an idea with you that I've had for um, pockets or tuck spots for your journals using um, the Tim Holtz Paper Dolls. So I've created a little group of them here that um, will fit uh, nicely and kind of pretty much any any size journal I think I think this would make a great pocket um, for like a tall tag or some folded documents or something like that I think that'll be really fun so um, let me show you let me show you what I did I have uh, sort of pre uh, pre chosen my uh, my paper dolls and I have this little little set here that I'm going to use um, let's see what did I use I'm choosing an index card just to um, help me get the feet even. So take a little art glitter glue and in this case we're just gonna put some art glitter glue on her arm here and then kind of line the, the feet up so they are uh, roughly standing on the same plane. You can, of course, if you'd like, whoops, um, I think my art glitter, glitter glue is getting tired. Um, you can um, use a backing, but um, I thought I would just make them with just the paper dolls um, for something a little bit different because I, uh, I had not seen this done before. Okay, and I have these cute little kids. So, Let's see. My challenge was getting the scale close to close to correct. Of course, I know I don't know that it really matters, but yeah, I think I'll do this. And then this little one right here. So we'll start with this little one. I thought this was kind of a fun way to use um, the Tim Holtz paper dolls that I keep purchasing and storing um, and they're really wonderful I love them I don't know why I tend to hoard them more than use them but I thought this was a great way to uh, or a fun way little fun little bit different way to use the uh, to use them and zealous with my glue there. So I've got this one. I'll probably come back and put a little bit of yeah, I'll put a little bit of glue on the back of his on his little head. So that he doesn't catch stuff. So they're kind of a different different way. Let's see how we have these cute kids with all their hats and cute dresses. Let's see. And I want them. Yeah. So let's put a little glue on the back of this little guy. And they do go together pretty quickly once you um oops the glue in all the wrong places um, once you figure out uh, which ones you want to use. Oh. I put too much glue on his hat and not enough glue elsewhere. There we go. There. And I have this group of group of gentlemen. I just love this guy with his hat. Kind of the uh, the hat club here. Okay, so let's put a little 
bit of glue on here. And of course you can make them as narrow or as wide as, um, as you like for the journal that you're making. I was kind of trying to keep them narrow-ish so I can always add a little something extra to them uh, when I put them in my journals. Of course, I'm using all the standing uh, paper dolls in this example. I have to work a little bit harder to be able to use the sitting ones, I think. I'll definitely have to use a, or would use a backing material for those. out on the town in their hats. So, okay, let's put the pen back in the glue. And I made these with one um, packet of the um, the Tim Holtz paper dolls. Oh, I think it was an older one though that I'd had for a while, so I'm not sure um, which, which set this one is. So we've got the men out on the town. We've got the, the wedding party. We've got the cute kids all dressed up. We've got these cute little kids here. And then we have this group of people here. So there you go. There's my, uh, my idea for uh, using your Tim Holtz paper dolls to make pockets or uh, tucks for your journals. So thank you for joining me today and I hope you'll join me again in the future and I will say bye-bye for now.